During the last transfer window, one of the biggest rumours doing the rounds involved Man City and Harry Kane. Kane desperately wanted to move to Manchester, but Spurs had other ideas and didn't let him leave. Since then, there's been a lot of talk about City not having a conventional striker. I know he's not at the same level as Aguero, but I feel a bit sorry for Gabriel Jesus, to be honest. City have played the likes of Torres, Foden, KDB and Jesus occasionally up front this season, but it got me thinking. Those of you that watch my channel know I like to think a bit outside the box. Yeah, it got me thinking, how many goals would Edison score if he played up front? Yes, the goalkeeper. To be fair to him, he is renowned for his ability on the ball. His passing range is fantastic, and this attribute, along with vision, is rated very highly on FM22. A lot of people have speculated that he could play as a midfielder. So, over the past couple of weeks, I've played through almost an entire season playing Edison as a lone striker for Manchester City. Now, this is my second experimental type FM22 video. Those of you that watched my first one involving Newcastle are probably wondering what happened to the follow-up video for that. Well, I got sacked. Albeit, David Wheater scored seven and Wilson was fantastic alongside him with 15. But yeah, it didn't quite work out how I hoped it would. Uh, I accidentally refused to attend a board meeting, so they got rid of me. Still, it was fun seeing Wheater banging a few goals playing as a striker. Although with near post corners being overpowered on the beater, he probably could have scored this many from centre-back if I had taken advantage of that. Anyway, back to Man City. As you can see, I've been playing Edison as a poacher. I did initially try him as a pressing forward and then a deep line forward, just experimenting with different roles uh, before settling on the poacher role. Apart from a couple of games he missed because of the flu, he has played every game this season and will make his 60th appearance at the end of this video. 26 goals in 59 games, it's not too shabby. And he is joint top goal scorer for City with De Bruyne, who had a flying start to the season playing him as a Mazzala, particularly on the beta. He was just unstoppable. When the full game came out, he's just not been quite as effective, but still very good. He's a world-class player. So I took charge after the community shield loss against Leicester. That's when I set the start date for this save. And I got into the swing of things quite quickly with wins, but it took six games before Edison scored. And it was a vital 93rd minute equaliser from outside the box as well. What a goal. We initially struggled in the Champions League, but our league and cup form were fantastic. Our first league defeat of the season was a dramatic 5-3 defeat against Arsenal. Although Edison did score twice. I guess overall we did struggle against the Sky Sports Big Six this season, losing heavily to Chelsea and being defeated by Man United in the Carabao Cup semi-final across the two legs and also away from home in the league. However, we got our revenge with a 5-3 aggregate win in the Champions League semi-final with Edison scoring a poacher's tap-in during the first leg. Unfortunately, we lost FA Cup final against Liverpool and they were also our nemesis in the Premier League, finishing above us on goal difference. It was such a close season. We, we were magnificent, but some of the big games we just fell short in. And I don't know if that's because of Edison. Maybe if we played a more conventional striker up front, it might have worked out. I don't know, but it's been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed playing Edison up front, and he has been, on the whole, pretty good. Edison and KDB finished joint sixth top scorers in the Premier League with 17 goals. And Edison was pretty much in line with his XG as well, so I don't think it's too bad for a keeper. So we head into this Champions League final, and despite positive campaigns in all competitions, this is our only chance of a trophy this season. But this is the big one, the one the fans really want. Can Edison lead us to glory and win Man City the Champions League for the first time? Here we go then. We're taking on AC Milan, who've been a bit of a surprise package in the Champions League this season, but we've got to fancy our chances. We're the favourites for this. This is my lineup. A couple of injuries, unfortunately. Grealish and Mares miss out. Grealish, our third top goal scorer this season, has had a good good campaign. The only player you might not recognise is our goalkeeper, Van der Voort, who we signed from Genk for £20 million, basically to replace Edison. He's a sweeper keeper, passing 17, that's why, that's why I signed him. 
I just looked for the keeper with the best passing attribute. Only 20 years old, and he's done well for us, I must say. I know I made my comeback to YouTube three weeks ago, but it's not been much of a comeback. This is only my second video. Sorry for that. I've been so busy with various things. First day my 30th birthday, and then a couple family things over the last two weekends, and also work-wise, I've been really busy. But when I do upload a video, I hope you guys enjoy it. I've got a series planned, so don't know how regular it's going to be. We shall see. So, AC Milan have a 40-year-old Zlatan up front, of course. They've got a decent squad. We can't underestimate them. But I am going to be attacking from the start. We're going to be going for it. And here goes Cancelo as our complete wing-back. Losing the ball, but in a dangerous... Oh, red card inside three minutes. Well... Wow. Things are looking up for us, and hopefully Edison can capitalise on that red card and grab a goal or two. That would be very nice. We've won a corner. Crossed in, headed over by Rodrigo. Or Rodri. We've not done anything with corners. I've not sorted out defensive or attacking corners. I've just left it. Cleared up the pitch, headed by Diaz. KDB into Phil Foden. To Edison. Oh, he just curled it wide. We've accumulated an XG of 1.07, but still haven't scored against 10-man AC Milan. I'm going to go very attacking. Going for it. And we're going to get the full-backs, the wing-backs to attack. In fact, let's get Walker as a complete wing-back. Here's Ruben Diaz again, charging up the pitch. Going on a marauding run into Rodri. Back to Diaz. Out wide to Kyle Walker. And he's got past his man. He's oh oh, it's headed wide by Edison. I think it clipped him. It was a very powerful cross from Kevin De Bruyne. Here's Laporte into Sterling. Lovely ball to Foden. He's tackled De Bruyne again, and that's a penalty. And this is a chance for Edison if it's given. This is a chance for Edison to make it one 0 He scored about five penalties this season, I think. Possibly missed one. I can't really remember. I haven't actually played this save for about a week. Up steps Edison and ah, slots it home. There we go. You've seen a goal from Edison. 27th goal of the season. He's our top goal scorer. Put it right in the corner. I'll go back to just attacking now rather than very attacking. Now we've got our goal. We should have more than one goal, as you can see there. Keep it up. Let's go. Oh, that's inspired them. Sterling's not really doing anything as an inverted winger. Maybe we'll go for an inside forward, two inside forwards, or Foden. I played him as a, an advanced playmaker, and I know you're not really meant to play more than one playmaker, but it has worked fairly well. Might have some more wacky ideas for, for videos at some point as uh, Laporte heads that over. I, I just like messing around with the game. It's all about having fun. Don't let anyone tell you how to play football manager. Just play it your own way. If you want to play a goalkeeper up front for an entire season, why not? That's what I've done, and it's been fun. Here comes Latan, putting it out wide. Oh no, they're going to equalise. They've been down to 10 men for ages. We've only scored a penalty, and they've made it 1-1 from... Look at the XG. Look at that XG. Fire up, let's go for that. Bloody ridiculous. I suppose I should make some changes. Overwhelmed. I fired them up, and they're overwhelmed. We're going to take Sterling off for Ferran Torres. Get him to attack. I'm going to get Bernardo. Everyone's attacking. It's going to go to extra time. We should. We've got an XG of three, and it's one one. <laughs> Here's Cancelo in the corner. Bernardo Silva, lovely play, lovely passing, and then we just give the ball away. And now they're on the attack, looking to. Oh no! Oh, Giroud almost won it, and it, they've hit the post. Edison, lovely play from him. It's not just about scoring goals for Edison. He can spray passes around and hold the ball up. And here we go. Oh, that's dreadful. Considering they got a red card in after three minutes, this has just not been on at all. I mean, 3.7 XG as well. Pump fist. Let's go for that. That's motivated them a bit. Going to throw John Stones on for Laporte. He's going to change the game. Oh, it's going to go to penalties, isn't it? It's going to go to penalties. I need to make sure our best penalty takers are on the pitch. Take off Kyle Walker and Rodri. Okay. On comes Jesus as a complete wing back. Oh no, we might not even go to penalties. AC Milan on the attack. This has been awful. It really has. 
We've got an XG of over four, and we've scored one goal, and it was from the from a penalty. <sighs> Can we win it at the death? Here's Bernardo Silva. Back to Cancelo. Come on, Gundogan. De Bruyne! Oh, surely, surely. That is the winner. And he's he wasn't happy about Edison taking the uh, Golden Shoe Award, or whatever it's called, gold, gold, Man City Golden Boot. And he's gone and won it for us in the 118th minute. I mean, I can't really celebrate, because it's... It's been poor. However, we should have scored more than two goals in this game. Tactically, we have been superior. Uh, but we've got the win in the end. I'm glad it's not gone to penalties. Putting Jesus on as a, a complete wing back at the end changed the game, I reckon. I do like this. This is a rather nice feature. Look at the fireworks and the confetti. Who's going to clear that up in the morning? Hope it's biodegradable. Well, thank you for watching this video. Edison finishes the season on 27 goals, joint with Kevin De Bruyne in the end. We've won the Champions League, just, just about got it over the line in the end. We finished second in the Premier League. We finished runners up in the FA Cup, got to the semi final of the League Cup, all with Edison up front. What a legend. 60 games, 27 goals, almost one in two. That's not bad. That's what you want from a striker. He's an elite striker, almost, sort of. I'm not going to do another season, by the way. This is just a one-off video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Every time I do upload, I lose a few subscribers down, down the drain, unfortunately, and I'm starting to sink back down to 60k. I was on, I think, 61? At my peak, maybe even 62, I honestly can't remember. But over the last couple of years, it's just gone, ooh. Which is understandable, because I've not been uploading. But thank you for watching this. Until next time, enjoy FM22. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you very soon.